As 21st century New York City continues to evolve into a cold mini storage for billionaires, its populous and raging barrage of hail, true Cupidian love, has become the rarest of commodities. As a woman of a certain age who wasn't married by 30, and look, I can't say anybody, nobody warned me, I will say while I've had multiple opportunities to be attacked by a terrorist, I can no longer remember the molecular details of being pulled a little closer to his chest because he noticed I had pulled the sleeves of my sweater over my icy white fingers. Bert Backrack saw this coming. We don't really need another mountain. And there are enough oceans. Bert Backrack is the Al Gore of love. <laughs> Air traveler, would I have been better off wrestling fate and trying to stop time from happening by saving and photographing everything when I had it? Am I just some failed character from a fable meant to show people the importance of not squandering their good fortune when they have it? Should I have known the whole time to store everything in a titanium deep woods bunker in Georgia in the event of terminal loneliness? Mm. The currency of love, a kiss, dinners, diamonds, decapitated mouse left in your bed by the cat. <laughs> Are Park Avenue's muscle-bound Miss Havisham's beating fate when they sue their motherfucking cheating lying no good bastard who left them to marry the nanny for the house in the Hamptons and every last goddamn dollar he got. Love, so much like air. We can't see it, but ultimately we die from its absence. I always hated fucking great expectations. I should have seen the signs. The school had us read it in seventh grade, right when the school started having dances. <laughs> Havisham was a warning. It was a code. They were telling us then and there to work it or else your life is gonna suck. That's the problem. I didn't see the signs, and it wasn't like I had fun at those dances. Nobody ever asked me to dance. It doesn't even make sense that they have dances. It's not like it's educational, unless your life's ambition is to be on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Bear traveler alone and lost in the woods. Funny that romantic love is so tied to things. It's almost like we, like we have to dumb it down so we can handle its beauty. Engagement ring. I don't know what one feels like, if you know what I'm saying. But there once was a bouquet of flowers at the airport when I landed, and the book, the book about bicycles. He added his own extra chapter on a bare page in the front. To my sweetest baby, with all my love, XO, 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 his name. I have forgotten most, but occasionally moments envelop me, riding the wind in a pack of laughing dead leaves. There's a small box, a bracelet, eyes and words. I bought you this so that every time you look at it, you will remember how much I love you. I don't have the bracelet anymore because a few days later he told me he didn't love me and then wouldn't pick up the phone. <laughs> he would love me again a few days later and not love me and want me to marry him and then not want me. But in that moment, the bracelet felt like a weight. It felt like it didn't belong to me. Maybe because it didn't. Its message was no longer intended for me. Like those disclaimers on the bottoms of emails from lawyers. <laughs> My hands got really cold in those tear-filled hours while I tried to call him. The bracelet was obnoxious just sat there on my wrist, refusing to warm my hands. After all, it was not love. It was a piece of bent metal. It did not have the power of air. Oh. Wow. Good stuff.